Welcome to the second episode of our Lakshadweep journey. In our first episode, we arrived here embarked on a boat ride to the sea where we encountered the remains of an abandoned ship submerged under water. Later in the evening, we returned to our room and spent the night. Beginning the next day, we started off with a morning kayaking session on the beach located right in front of our accommodation. Our main activities for this episode included scuba diving, snorkeling, and night fishing. Though I've done kayaking twice earlier, it's the first time me doing it in the sea. It's not just for me, but I got some companions from the resort. This is a special kind of marine fungi grown by the local people here, and it is covered using the iron grill so as to avoid being eaten by the turtle. Kayaking is a simple activity that can be done by anybody. Fresher can learn it within five minutes, and it's easy to learn here since the water is calm. After kayaking for some time, we headed back to the resort. And after taking bath, we're here for the breakfast. They follow the buffet system for the breakfast and lunch. It's a vibrant experience to enjoy the delicious food, feeling the calm breeze. After the breakfast, we're here again for the snorkeling. It's a spot just behind the resort. There are beaches in front and back side of this property. We couldn't spot much fishes as there are less corals. We do not have to be afraid since there isn't much water and it's only a hip level deep. This is a sea cucumber and it is illegal to catch them. If it is threatened, it produces a thread-like sticky substance as a defense mechanism. It is very important and difficult to remove it from the skin and the local people use hot water to remove it. Also, an important thing to be noted while you walk through the coral is to wear a nice pair of sandals as the corals can slit our legs since they are very sharp. It takes so many days to get the wound dried and healed. There are chances for infections also. It would be difficult to use shoes as water gets inside the shoes which hinders us to walk freely. So it is better to bring sandals with straps on the back. We could see a lot of varieties of corals, shells and lambies on the sea floor and this one is alive. You should use sunscreen over here as there is no shade and the sun hits us directly. So bring full sleeve t-shirts and pants that would cover our skin more. And do not forget to bring the cooling glass and the hat also. That's an eel peeking from the hole. It was advised to not to approach it as it is a bit dangerous. When we go deep down the ocean, we could spot electric eel, which could give us electric shocks. But it is common eel variety. It may bite us once it feels threatened. This area doesn't have much coral. We could only spot some over here. We aren't permitted to take even a single piece of coral home as we go back because they'll open up the bag and take the coral back during the scanning procedures at the airport. So, I've already mentioned that it is better to book some packages when you come to Lakshadweep. In order to come here, we need to apply for the police clearance certificate and using this PCC, we need to apply for the permit. Then only we can land here. Usually it takes only one week to get the permit, but sometimes it gets delayed up to one month. In our case, it can be arranged by the trip untold, so try booking the package and the flight at the earliest as there is only one flight to Lakshadweep. That's a small fish over there in the sand and you may not be able to see it as it is too small. 
and this is the snorkeling in the shores behind the resort and it was a superb experience and the time flew like anything after the snorkeling we are here for the lunch after lunch we have rested for a while and in the evening we are again for another activity kalpati island visit and that is in a small boat there's a special feature for this boat it's a glass in the center of the boat and we could see the beauty of underwater as we boat through the sea it's a nice experience we started to spot corals and this area is filled with corals and large number of fishes are roaming around we'll be having a scuba diving tomorrow a bit far from here and this glass boat riding is mainly for those who are not interested in scuba diving and other ocean activities though it doesn't give the experience of snorkeling and scuba diving we could see some parts of the ocean floor and the underwater flora and fauna like this since it's a small boat it doesn't go that far to the ocean and it's a boat service to show the corals near the beach this boat wasn't a part of the package and we have booked it separately as we had some free time in the evening and it cost 3500 rupees for the ride and that's another glass boat over there though it is not raining over here we could see it's raining in specific points i have seen this kind of similar thing on my journeys to idiki as it rains in certain specific parts when we look from the mountains there are fishes of different varieties and corals and if we are lucky enough we could spot turtles too we cannot spot turtles during a scuba diving and snorkeling as they run away when they see us i couldn't spot the turtle much as i took shot by dipping the camera in the water from the boat and we have reached the kalpati island and we could roam around this island for a little while and there are markings defining the borders of the union territory These are the remains of an old shattered fat boat and it was shattered after hitting the coral. Though we have scuba diving in our area, it can never be compared with the visuals we experienced at Lakshadweep. And the main features of scuba diving here is the clearness of the water and the beauty of the corals. We are about to leave for the resort after the walk around the island as the sun has begun to set. And after seeing the Kalpati island we reached back at the resort and we walked to the beach after the dinner and it is so pleasant to spend the night in the beach and we need not fear anything as this land doesn't have any dogs or snakes another important feature about the lakshadweep is the sky view from here as the videos are not that clear i will show you some pictures if it is not cloudy it is nice to see the numerous stars from the beach And in the morning I decided to walk a little through the beach of this resort and it's a different feeling to enjoy the morning breeze in the beach the morning sunlight it's a unique beauty whether it is forest or beach and this man has started his work in the early morning he's collecting the coconut tree leaves to fold most houses and resorts of this region a covered with this kind of coconut tree leaves though those are tiled or concreted it is not just for beautifying but as a way to reduce the heat and here the heat is too much as it is near the sea and there are less trees over here there are a lot of concrete blocks placed in the beach to prevent the strong waves from the ocean And we're going back to the resort after spending some time on the beach and our main agenda today is about to begin after the breakfast and that is scuba diving it is only a walkable distance to the starting point from our property so that's the boat which will be taking us to the sea they're loading the cylinder to the boat actually there are different types of scuba diving 
There's a basic scuba diving that is only for 2 to 3 meters in the ocean. Another one which will be 5 to 6 meters into the ocean and the last one is about 10 meters dive into the ocean. And all will be for 20 to 25 minutes duration. And we are diving to a depth of 5 to 6 meters. The guide will give us the instructions and precautions on our way to the spot itself. We have reached the spot and the boat is anchored. So we are diving into the ocean. It's not necessary to jump such a way, but we can use the steps also. But it's a beautiful experience to jump like that. Let's explore the ocean floor where the magical wonders of oceans are hidden. And this is a big coral and our first sighting was a powder blue tang. And that's a seahorse and actually they have a very different shape. And this one looks different as it is a kid. We could spot adult seahorses in deep ocean flows. Many have asked if we need to know to swim to do the scuba diving. But it is not at all necessary to know swimming because our guide would take us to show every place here. And there would be a trainer for each guest over here. It is better to avoid diving when you are sick with cold as we breathe in through mouth using a pipe closing the nose. Look around the region we stay now. It is a huge collection of fishes. It's for the first time I'm seeing something like this that do the transparent fishes among blue fish in the crystal clear water. I was all confused to see it directly or to capture it in the camera. This is the main attraction of scuba. Each day we'll have unique and different sightings. In most tourist spots, we have almost same view every time. But in the matter of sea and forest, it'll always be different. They gift us with different sightings whenever we approach them. Scuba is a kind of never tiring activity. We are swimming around a big coral and we could see small fishes everywhere. And after spending some time, there we left for other corals. We could spot different types of fishes around the different corals and see. Those fishes have white stripes on their yellow body and we should admire how beautifully they are designed, isn't it? So that's a puffer fish. It is so cute, see with a unique design. But they are all one among the most poisonous fishes in the world. We could approach them since they don't attack us. These puffer fishes are of different varieties. They will float on water like a balloon once they are threatened by the predators. And could take some good pictures of them by going near them as they move slow. This fish is known as Saran Karni here in Lakshadweep. It may be named after their big eyes. But if we take a closer look, we could see that it doesn't have one eye. It has lost somehow. So let me explain to you about the package. I have opted for the package offered by the Trip Untold for this Lakshadweep trip. They offer many packages and I have already told that it costs 18,000 per person for 2 days and 3 nights and we need to pay the flight tickets additionally. It was 5,800 rupees for the flight ticket for one side and if you need to get the full details about the package, you can call the Trip Untold and if you are not in a situation to call, you can also WhatsApp them in their number. I've provided them in the description box and the staffs will explain everything in detail. And there's another coral and we could see a type of fish which is seen around this type of coral. They are like clownfish. These fishes will always be around this anemone. 
This anemone has a special electric shock which doesn't affect clownfish alone, so other fishes doesn't come near the anemone. These clownfishes are one of the pet fish which is too costly to buy. And this is a butterfly fish. These are seen of different varieties, which is the state fish of Lakshadweep. A total of 120 varieties of butterfly fishes are discovered so far, and many varieties are spotted during the scuba diving. And it's so nice to have a change in our regular sightings of wildlife in our stories. And the sightings of these ocean flow beauty is quite charming and mesmerizing. And we are getting ready to get back to the boat. The trainer bought us another place to show something. That was an old vehicle and the story about the arrival of this vehicle in the depth of ocean far from the land remains unanswered. And there's another variety of puffer fish under the vehicle. They always hide behind something like this as they move slow. And it is an omini which is registered in Malappuram. So let's go back to the boat. Usually, this diving is about 20 to 25 minutes. But if it is off season and less crowded, they'll allow us to stay for more than 30 minutes. Thank you, dive team. And after the scuba dive, we had lunch at the resort. And by the evening, we have gone for a bike riding around the island. We haven't gone around the island so far after reaching here. The place we stay here is in a corner of Agati Island. So it's beach on both sides and it gets wider as we move forward. The major issue the people here faces to ride vehicles is the price and availability of petrol. It costs 140 rupees of petrol when it is 105 rupees in Kerala. And there are no petrol pumps here, as we see in our areas. There is a society just like ration shops in our area. And each vehicle is allotted a particular amount of petrol. And we need to get the petrol using a card, just like we buy rice from the ration shops. So, that's an ATM. There are ATMs and banks on every island over here. And there are supermarkets too. But the availability of products and their price is a matter of concern. We don't get packet milks here. And they get expired when they are brought here from Kochi. Almost every product has to come from Kochi like rice, wheat, vegetables. And we don't get any kind of food items which expires in two days. But there are plentiful fishes over here. So that's a school. There are one or two schools in every island over here. There are Kendra Vidyalayams here. And students migrate to Kerala or other states after plus two for their higher studies. And another important thing about the people over here is their character and behavior. So far, from my experience, the people here are so kind-hearted and genuine. Though they aren't well-educated and living a poor's life, their personalities are praiseworthy. And this is the post office. And the official language used here is Malayalam. And the medium of instruction in the schools are also in Malayalam. This is one of the supermarkets over here. And we get almost every product here, though it is bought from Kerala. These coconut trees are painted white to avoid accidents in the night, as there are no street lights over here. And you should be thinking about the electricity over here. Electricity is generated using a diesel generator. And the electricity is supplied through the lines under the soil. And the diesel generator is placed here. We could see the barrels bringing diesel to this power station. 
and we have reached the other end of island. It takes only 15 minutes to reach the other end from one end. Let's spend some time and let's get back. There are some kids playing football. Have you ever played football in the sand? It is really an amazing experience. So we are leaving as we have booked for another program before the sunset, and that's fishing. In 10 minutes, after reaching at the resort, the boat has reached at beach to take us for the fishing. It is a time for fishing. This is not a tourist activity, but a professional fishing. So we could ask them beforehand and book, but we need to pay them some money. He was saying that it is a time of high tide and we could get sharks during this time. Though they go for fishing every day, they stop going once the rainy season starts, that is in the month of June. And the whole island will be resting during this rainy season and there won't be any tourism, scuba diving or any other tourist activities. They wouldn't be going for the fishing during these times as the waves would rise above the boat. I felt like vomiting as the boat is shaking in the wave and the major reason Behind this is that I haven't slept after the scuba diving. It is said that we need to rest for almost two hours after the scuba. They actually mark the areas where they get the fish every day in their GPS device and they cast the net. The fishermen usually go for the fishing using GPS. They start preparing to cast when they have reached the deep areas. They have taken the bait along with them. Small fishes are the bait for catching the bigger ones. These baits are hooked and they cast into the ocean. When we moved forward, they started casting in different ways. Earlier we used to bait to catch fish, but now they simply cast and they pull it back. And by doing so, fishes like sharks and tuna approaches them by hearing this sound. This is another kind of fishing by connecting the hook to a plastic ball. And since the ball is plastic, it wouldn't drown and they could see if the fish has taken the bite. And they are casting till it gets dark. It's almost 100 meters deep over here and it is said that there are plenty of tunas and sharks over here. By night, they said something has taken the bite and when we pulled it out, it was a big tuna. And while they were pulling up the fish, a shark had attacked the fish and almost half the portion was taken by the shark. This is the situation most times. They work hard and most part of their labor was taken by the sharks. And if they are lucky enough, they get some big sharks or tunas. Or else they get this half-bitten fish and sometimes they get nothing. So, we are not staying for much time, so we are getting back to our resort. And our Lakshadweep series is coming to an end over here. I have given the details to book the package using Trip Untold in the description box. If you have any queries, you can comment or text me on Instagram as well. So, let's meet once again with another interesting travel story in another episode. Stay tuned. Bye.